With a defiant shout, he charged forward once more, his eyes blazing with determination. In the heart of the lush African jungle lay a small village called Ambasa. The villagers of Ambasa were known far and wide for their kindness and their reverence for nature. But despite their virtues, a dark cloud loomed over Ambasa, threatening to tear apart the fabric of their peaceful existence. It began with whispers carried on the wind, tales of a great sea monster summoned by the gods themselves. The monster, known as Mangwa, was said to be a fearsome creature with scales as hard as stone and teeth as sharp as daggers. Legends spoke of its wrath, unleashed upon those deemed unworthy by the gods. The villagers of Mbasa lived in harmony with the land, but over time their hearts grew greedy. They took more than they needed from the earth, heedless of the consequences. Their once thriving village began to wither, and the gods, displeased with their greed, sent Mangwa to punish them. As Mangwa approached Mbasa, the villagers trembled with fear. They knew they had strayed from the path of righteousness and now they faced the consequences of their actions. But amidst the fear and despair, there was one who refused to cower before the wrath of the gods. His name was Shaka, a brave warrior whose heart burned with determination. He had grown up hearing tales of heroes and legends, and now, faced with the greatest challenge of his life, he knew he had to rise to the occasion, with his trusty spear in hand and courage in his heart, Shaka set out to confront the sea monster. As he ventured deeper into the jungle, he could feel the weight of the villagers' hopes resting upon his shoulders. He knew he could not fail them. Finally, after days of journeying, Shaka reached the edge of the vast ocean where Mungwa lurked beneath the waves. The air crackled with tension as Shaka stood on the shore, facing the monstrous creature that threatened his home. Mangwa rose from the depths, its massive form casting a shadow over the land. Its eyes glowed with malice as it prepared to unleash its fury upon the village of Mbasa. But Shaka stood his ground, unflinching in the face of danger. With a deep breath, Shaka steadied himself, his gaze locked with the glowing eyes of the sea monster. Mungwa surged forward, a wall of water crashing towards him with deafening force. Shaka leaped to the side, narrowly avoiding the onslaught as he planted his feet firmly in the sand. Undeterred, Mungwa circled around, its massive form slicing through the water with alarming speed. Shaka tightened his grip on his spear, anticipation coursing through his veins. As the sea monster lunged once more, Shaka instincts took over, guiding his movements with uncanny precision. With a swift sidestep, Shaka dodged the creature's razor-sharp claws, his spear poised to strike. He lunged forward, aiming for Mungwa's exposed flank, but the sea monster was quick to retaliate. With a thunderous roar, it swung its tail, sending a powerful wave crashing towards Shaka. Caught off guard, Shaka stumbled backward, the force of the impact threatening to overwhelm him, but he refused to yield, drawing upon every ounce of strength within him to push against the relentless tide. With a defiant shout, he charged forward once more, his eyes blazing with determination. As Mangwa bore down upon him, Shaka saw his opening. With a swift motion, he plunged his spear deep into the creature's side, eliciting a pained cry from the sea monster. But Mangwa was not so easily defeated. With a ferocious roar, it thrashed and writhed, its massive form lashing out in a frenzy of rage. Shaka gritted his teeth against the onslaught, his muscles straining with effort as he fought to maintain his grip on his weapon. Inch by inch, he drove the spear deeper into Mungwa's flesh, refusing to relent even as the sea monster's strength waned. At long last, with a final desperate thrust, Shaka delivered the killing blow, plunging his spear into Mungwa's heart, 
the sea monster let out a mournful cry before sinking beneath the waves, defeated at last. As Shaka returned to his village, he was greeted as a hero, his bravery celebrated by all who lived there. But amidst the joy and revelry, Shaka knew that the true lesson of his victory lay not in his own strength, but in the courage of those who dared to stand against adversity. For in the end, it was not the power of gods or the ferocity of monsters that saved Mbasa, but the bravery of one man who refused to back down in the face of fear. And so, the villagers of Mbasa learned that true courage lies not in the absence of fear, but in the willingness to confront it, no matter the cost. And as the sun set on the horizon, casting a warm glow over the village of Mbasa, Shaka knew that his legacy would live on for generations to come, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to dream of a better tomorrow. If you don't want to miss exciting African folktales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time.